opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Bf4 develops the bishop to an active square where it controls the center. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Rc1 develops the rook and delays moving the e2 pawn, if black captures on c4, then e4 is a stronger move than playing e3 on move 6. It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only move that works. This threatens to win a pawn. It is a great move. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to capture a knight that was threatening to win material. It is a mistake. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a miss. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. This is the only move that works. It is best. This wins a queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. That was a free rook. 
it is best. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a pawn that was under attack. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This captures a vulnerable queen. It is best. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This threatens to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This ignores a better way to move a rook to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to activate the king by getting it off of the back rank. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with the knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. There was only one good move in that position. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This steps away from the checking pawn. It is best. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. That's fine. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. The end game was sloppy, but white got the better of it.